Hello everybody, this is Phantom Donut, and I'm here in my nice little world I have that has a very cool project in it that I will tell you about in a minute or so. But yeah, this is a video for a really fun project I'm working on. And there's a lot of random stuff here. A lot of redstone and command blocks and I am building a vanilla mod pack or as I like to call it command pack because mod packs involve mods I'm not modding it it's a command pack command packs are awesome and yeah that's what I'm using my um custom crafting table for it will help me with a lot of things to add new items and as you can see, I've added a couple of recipes. Everything with a diamond block above it is something I have fully completed. So I have a lot of stuff fully completed. And I'll try and show most of it in this video. Okay. As the start of everything, place down that. Get the book. And I have like a lot of useful things. Let's see if I remember this recipe. Oh, I did. The Weather Bottler Crafting Pack. It's a new one I made. I'll put it on there. And um, the issue is, like, for some reason, the armor stand goes on the outside of the dropper somehow. So I'm clicking, you can hear me clicking, and it won't open the dropper. So that's slightly an issue I'll fix. Okay, so I just have water bottles, snow, a couple other random things. And the first recipe I made, Power Catalyst, I think I'm saying that right. And I need a couple more of those, um, yeah, those are like one of the key things. I wish I could make it so I could craft like multiple at a time, but that would be pretty hard. Okay, three is enough. And then I'll do this and binding catalysts. And I might use some of these things in like making advanced potion things. I think I'll make one more set of those. Um wait what what else? Oh, um quartz, yeah. I need to make like a book so I can remember the recipes and people can learn them. Okay. And then two water bottles. Snow like this. Power catalyst binding. Reverse those. Boom. Bottled storm. And it's a blizzard. And it'll summon up a blizzard. It's a strength of one of three. And yeah, and let me craft up all the levels of this. Okay, wow. As you just saw, that took a immense amount of resources. That, like, legitimately is not something you easily make in survival. Okay, and then I need to make some blocks because I have one, two, and three, and, um... To save myself the work, I will just duplicate three, so I have two of them. And if you get two level threes, you can put them together like so with two of the binding, and you'll get a third bottled storm. Okay. That was... Okay. 
And then let me show you what the bottled storms do. I toss one down. Instantly, there a storm appears. And I have slowness 3, mining fatigue, and jump boost. And I am clicking jump. And I am not moving anywhere. I only... Like, well, why am I suddenly getting bursts of speed? I don't know, but this and I can't mine anything. So if you were trapped in one of these, like let's say this happened in like a cave and somehow you got trapped, you can't mine anything barely. Like, look at how long. This is a snow layer. Very easy to mine. I'm hitting it. Nothing is happening. And these storms eventually do die down. And um, there's particles. Because the snow is falling on you and murdering your face. I think they were supposed to be a bit more dense. And see, once I leave there, I live. But if I get near it again, yep, I'm going to die. Yeah, they are really deadly. And yeah, the storm just timed out. And I have to fix the whole thing with it dropping rotten flesh. And then it's back to normal. And that was I that was my tier one storm. Let me throw down second storm. Okay. As you can see the snow is piling up faster. I believe it is like I'm not sure what the measurements are, but I believe in this storm. Actually, I'm going to also drop down storm three. And look how fast the snow is going to pile up. And as you can see, uh, there, there's noise outside my window. Ah, background noise, not good. And if let's say when this fills up in a second, when snow falls right there. Come on, snow, fall right there. Snow, come on, don't be derp. Don't be a... Yes, I am trapped in here. I can't jump. I can't move. Snow is piling up all around me. Not sure why there isn't snow here. Um... What is with that? But you, you're, you're trapped. If you were starving or something, you'd die. If you're not careful, you will get trapped and there's no way out. I believe it was actually even really hard to get out with my efficiency shovel I'd been using to test. Okay, is the snow going up any, like, at all? Huh. That's weird. The snow should be... Oh, yeah, snow's going up. I can't jump, I can't move. I can't do anything to save myself, except that the, snow, the storm's timed out. Ow, I'm glitched in a wall. What? And there will, of course, be some of those annoying fleshes laying around. I will make... I, I have an idea to fix that. But I'll, I'll show you how these work, because these are sort of complicated. Okay, I'm going to go grab a bottled storm. Okay, so here is all three levels of it. And I throw down level one. And then I'm going to go into spectator mode. This is how it works. I have an armor stand at the center of it. And then I have a zombie and wherever the zombie goes. And yeah, its name is Snow Spread if I get close enough to it again to read that. It will spread in that radius. And then, um, scoreboard, objective, set display, sidebar, um, sn Oh, wow, I have way too many scoreboard objectives here. Oh, storm time. Oh, yeah. As you can see, it is going up, and if I did scoreboard player set... Um, at E type equals not player storm.
storm time. Well, I'll just let that. Oh. Ugh. Why must it lag? Just because I have like 16 hopper clocks. No fill clocks at all. And I guess this is a lot of particles. So, yeah. But 96, 97, 98, 99. At 100, the storm will end. And I can... And the zombie will drop the rotten flesh. I can't prevent that. And so essentially, this is the same mechanic. Um. Wow. Um, scoreboard objective set display sidebar. Okay. Yeah, that, that's how it works. The zombies, I have the text, execute the text of zombies. If they find a certain snow layer, they will place like, one or two snow layers higher. And it's a random spread players command, so there's no logic to it. It will randomly spread snow. And the snow should, and the whole storm should time out after a bit. Because that's what it does. It times out after a certain amount of time. And this is why I have to run it. Um, what, what, how? Oh, the lag. My classic cake in a hopper. I have it so it will... Okay, so here's the redstone explanation. When it... It'll... Um, where? I think it was over... Somewhere... Where do I have the command that does the, the actual work? Is it... How do I freaking lose a command? In a command block. Not sure about that one. Oh, why is there so much flesh everywhere? Ew, disgusting. Apparently, I need to fix that system. Anyway, what I have is... It will execute at the potion bottle to summon... I don't get how I wire my inventions. Okay, it'll summon an armor stand with the name of Snow... Um... Snowstorm. And then this will constantly fill, essentially, the area around it with snow layer zero to replace air. So if... Wow. And it builds up pretty fast. So you can't mine the snow layer to stop the storm from progressing. And this will also do at a snowstorm two, which is... It'll execute at an armor stand snowstorm. This is how the zombies spawn. I'm jumping around a lot. Sorry about that. It'll summon a baby zombie named Snow Spread with its name not visible with invisibility. And I thought I was hiding its particles, but apparently I didn't do that. And it's silent and it has no AI. And then this will execute at a zombie named Snow Spread. To do an entity data on an armor stand in a range of 10 with a name of Snowstorm. To make it be named Snowstorm 2. And this is the spread players executing at the armor stand to spread all the zombie snow spreads. This will constantly add to the zombie and the snow, the, the snow spread zombie and the armor stand. It'll set their storm time. T they'll add it by one every time. And once it reaches a minimum of 100, it'll kill it. It shouldn't ever reach over 100 unless there's some error or I set it manually. And then this whole thing is just like detect snow layer 3, snow layer 4. Same thing everywhere with a couple things to prevent it from piling up too fast. But it's all these commands just in different locations. All very uninteresting. And, um... Over here, I have something. What the? Um. Oh okay, yeah, this is my whole summoning of the snow spread armor stand. All of that. That's just executing at the bottle. I gave it an enchantment so I could tech for a bottle with an enchantment. And that's how that works. So, yeah. Um. Okay, I still have my inventory. I, I usually end up clearing my inventory. Okay. So that's all my bottled storm with these really cool things.
And it is definitely not an easy thing to make any of these. That takes that. And two of these take a diamond. Definitely not something you easily acquire. And yeah, you get two of them, but it doesn't really help you. Okay. What are people doing outside my window? I don't know. Okay, and this is something I showed in the last video with the piston sword. This is just crafting for it. It's the pistons, the sword, and diamond. And that will craft. I'll open it. A supercharged piston sword, knockback one. Um, knockback two. This should be a um, knockback three, knockback four, and finally knockback five. And this is not cheap, but it's not over. I guess it is. Five diamonds for a knockback V sword. And I'll test it out on some creepers if they don't kill themselves. And see. Bam, 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 bam. What, what now? And it knocks them pretty far back. Whoa. Yeah, you can. It's pretty good for a creeper. Yeah, and then it's a stone sword without any added damage. And I don't think there's any way. Ah. Uh, I just. Why? I'm. I'm. My my inventions are flawed, I think. Why did it just blow me into a snowstorm? What what is Oh I'll just kill everything. This is what I'm trying to prevent. Oh, 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 my my beautiful Gosh. I tried to prevent lighting updates and all that garbage. Uh, I'll run that command again. Kill everything. Kill everything. Wh why did that have to do that in my wiring for other things? Like, this is my boost leggings and that. Why did it have to blow up like that? Uh, okay. Finally, I'll make a new table. I have one last thing I made. And, um, this recipe, I've been trying to decide. It uses a nether star, and it's a, pr it's a pretty OP recipe. And I'm trying to decide, it, it uses a nether star, but it gives you back the nether star. I don't know if it should take the nether star. But I put it in, I did rotten flesh and a saddle, and you can probably guess what this will make. I add the nether star, I get the nether star back, which I don't know if I like that. I'll just keep that in there. It's a piece of flesh. I would not suggest eat this or craft it into anything, because it's, it's an undead mount. Yay! I'm riding a horse! You get your own undead horse. Look at how many hearts it has. It has a lot of hearts, and that could be pretty useful. And pretty much same concept with skeleton. Boom. Skelly mount, you get the nether star back. I'll throw my horse down, and it's a horse. Same thing. It's, it's pretty cool, but I'm trying to decide um, where is it? Oh, it's right here. Should you get the nether star back, or should you just get the mount, no nether star back? Because I want, so you have to have had killed a wither to be able to bring undead creatures to life, because it just seemed like one of those Minecraft logic things. But yeah, I hope you have enjoyed this episode, first episode of Vanilla Mod Pack, and this is definitely a series I enjoy working on, so there will be lots and lots of episodes of this. Oh, oh wait, did I say Mod Pack? Uh, Command Pack. I, I, when I first designed this, I hadn't thought of calling it Command Pack, so I just called it a Mod Pack, but it is a Command Pack. It's packed full of commands that command Minecraft. 
Um, yeah, hope you enjoyed. Leave a like, comment, and subscribe. And please leave ideas for what you'd like to see in the command pack. I can always use some really good ideas to add to make it a better command pack thing. Um, yeah, see you later.